what is up everybody LUI here salutes you again and well let's go back to business as usual or can we even go back to business as usual namely fitness because quite frankly nothing is happening and we are short of few weeks out of this Olympia three weeks and, and some changes as far as I know right or four weeks on change I don't even have the count but uh, it's pretty much very uh, very near and uh, Quite frankly, when it comes to that event, obviously it is uneventful. Uh, you guys be my guest. Nothing is out there. Uh, it is again a testament that it is somehow very dull. Uh, just like the year, actually, the whole year of bodybuilding, 2017 was nobody was competing. Uh, top seven, if we include uh, Kai Green, nobody competed, right? The highest ranking guy was Cedric McMillan. And uh, that's that. We've seen some uh, guest appearances. We have um, Brendan Curie coming back to save the day. But then again, Brendan was dead last last year. So uh, you have the picture, right? Uh, anyway, so I'll leave it at that. Uh, personally, I do have some kind of exclusive pictures from Big Grammy. I'm expecting to receive a video by tomorrow. And uh, Badr Budai is going to do an interview at a different outlet over here on YouTube. So if you guys want to watch him, uh, go ahead. I think it's going to happen today. Uh, but that's that when it comes to Miss Olympia. Uh, Phil Heath is not releasing nothing. Not only that, but if you go to his Instagram, there is a no feature in Instagram. Pretty much uh, you can put one video uh, after the other, right? And uh, that way, it is, there is no way for you to upload it or download it or copy it. So that's that. It was it done on purpose? Uh, you be uh, the judge. Uh, anyway, so that's pretty much it when it comes to Miss Olympia. Nothing is happening, quite frankly. I can tell you about Dexter Jackson uh, trolling uh, Callum Van Moger. He wrote on his picture, bro, uh, you're not, uh, you're fat or you need to uh, cut more. Or you don't look nice or things like that. It was just a troll. Uh, aside from that, uh, of course, the, the, the big talk is still about Rich Piana, admittedly. Rich Piana, right? A lot of uh, speculations out there, a lot of theories, a lot of talk. Personally, I refrained from talking about it for obvious reasons. Uh, there was also uh, Mike. You guys know Mike, obviously. He made a video which was quite controversial. I received countless uh, messages about it. And to be honest with you guys, I watched uh, about one or two minutes of it, right? When he spoke about uh, him being natural for like 40 years. And I think he he named the video as a whole uh, Vitamin S. Right. Quite, quite uh, special because that word, I cannot say it, let alone write it in a title. I think he wrote it in a title. So Vitamin S. And he went on, as far as I know, mentioned that he started lifting since he was eight or nine. And for the last four years, he, uh, his natty status is absolutely uh, proper. So God bless him for that. I do salute his <laughs> marvelous natural status. It's just uh, special, exceptional, extraordinary to the least. Personally, I can tell you straight up in the face, I cannot achieve what he achieved uh, naturally. My natural status is just not loyal. I'm almost 42, and this is the max I can I, I can gain. That's it. Uh, I cannot lie to you guys, right? I'm genuine. I will never be cut at 240, uh, let alone 180. When I'm cut, I'm like 160 max, right? Tops. So that's that. I guess my testes are not loyal. But uh, all in for all, a lot of people took it the wrong way. Uh, they said, you know, it's not the time to... To try to somehow elude or link it to to rich by no means and i agree with that so i'll leave it at that i'm not into controversy god bless them both and as far as i see it uh because there's some outlets also in the uk still talking about rich piana and some 20 things they found at his house you know respect the privacy of the gentleman uh as far as i know it has nothing to do with those kind of stuff uh and I leave it at that. I leave it to what his girlfriend mentioned on social media. She just said, uh, pray for the guy, and that's all we will do. And as far as I'm concerned, the last thing uh, I interacted with him, the last communication I had with him was him telling me, bro, that he 
does recognize he has muscle dysmorphia and it is to be saluted so i did salute that and the tragedy or the incident happened the same day a few hours later so i leave it at that and that's the, that's the last thing i will reminisce from uh, from rich and i'm hopeful that he will come back because uh i mean look i mean he's really missed a week without him on social media is just an empty fitness scene he is more targeted he's more polarizing than any bodybuilder uh, competing nowadays right probably you can put kai green next to him but he's colorful in a different way talking about kai green as you guys know he joined the the super league i think which is headed by dorian yates now he did mention that that does not mean uh quitting the ifbb but in my opinion and in my reckoning it's still a slap to the um to the, to the organization in a sense right because he's not competing in their their big event while being the most famous bodybuilder competing on social media his following is greater than that of uh phil heath although he never won a sandow and he published a video lately of the rock incidentally now the rock is i think he's promoting mr olympia now and the rock actually went back to la los angeles as far as i know and he did reminisce he did remember when he went there once uh and he stayed in it for like a week or two and he was not drafted for football and he said what will i do with my life i only have like 13 bucks or a few dollars left in my account and i was not drafted successfully so am i done right next thing you know it was a blessing in disguise so him not being drafted there ushered a career elsewhere and the rest is history he is he went actually he did football uh he was a wwf wwe star and now a mega uh, action hero star so that's a message an indirect message from kai green how do i read it in his shakespearean way i read it that he does not need to be mr olympia to be successful and the fact that he did not win the sandow was somehow a blessing in disguise which ushered other opportunities uh for him you'd be my guest to judge if it is right or wrong i think it's probably one of the most successful bodybuilders out there nowadays financially i have him first him either him or big Ramy are the most financially lucrative bodybuilders in my reckoning uh nowadays uh competing that's that we'll see if uh, the super league will do uh good for for bodybuilding uh, in my opinion, a lot of bodybuildings are all ears. They are awaiting to see what's up, and they might uh, follow suit of Kai Green and go to the Super League. Why? Because, while well, they might think that the reward is not that interesting. I mean, the pie is so small up there. There is a lot of animosity. And again, the, the, the prize is not that exciting, right? Arnold, Arnold Schwarzenegger, right? Uh, talking about action heroes of course he was one of the most famous muscular action heroes let me give you food food for thought in a sense question and i'll leave you give me your opinion and debate about it did actually arnold promote or help promoting or usher a career of any other bodybuilder as an action hero a muscular bodybuilder quite frankly i don't think so course in his era there was uh stallone right there was uh, jean-claude van damme as you guys you say, say in english van damme uh basically who started by himself as a matter of fact story goes to tell he went to audition at uh the, the wife of stallone back then his wife was his manager uh, his manager i think uh and he did like a split next to her to show that he was athletic and she did not took him right and then he had to do it his own way to be a successful action action hero that's uh, van damme right but as far as i remember arnold did not help push any career in cinema when it comes to a bodybuilder right since him that was pretty much uh nobody so do you think why didn't he do that actually right now he's trying to promote the arnolds and this and that some say he just comes to collect uh and give trophies in the arnold and then he doesn't he's not that involved he could have done more 
you tell me. So as I mentioned, I'll leave that question uh, right there. Can Arnold do more? Can he push actually bodybuilder, bodybuilders into the mainstream, into being an action hero? Because pretty much he was the last one. Right now, we have a guy who is not even a bodybuilder, a muscular figure for that matter, charismatic, granted, in uh, whatever. You have Vin Diesel, you have uh, uh, The Rock, uh, you have Jason Statham, and no, no one came from bodybuilding or fitness, actually, for that matter. Nobody came from the IFBB. Salute you wherever you are. Don't forget to like the video. And again, if you guys are natural and you fancy being trained by the LUI, Louis Marco Training at gmail.com. Send me an email there. I'll send you forward the information, the price. It is unbeatable. Salute you wherever you are. Have a nice one.